So they would come in, usually alone, but sometime in pairs, and uh, sit down, and we would put the transcripts in front of them, put on the headphones, play the tape. And uh, and it was unforgettable, really. It was unforgettable, unforgettable because the first time, I mean, by this time, you know, I'd heard the tapes so often. I mean, I, I don't want to say I took them for granted, but, you know, I'd been listening to them. But I was reminded how powerful it was to hear the President of the United States talk to his staff members about these issues that were so important to everyone. And, uh, <laughs> you know, this is not a, a, a secret by any means, but, you know, there's, there's a transcript. You could sit and read the transcript, right? You could read the transcript, but, you, you know, listening to the tape and hearing the voice, you're not getting any substantive information that's different than the transcript. And John Doerr would make that point often. Uh, but, the, but the difference was, you know, it's the difference between, you know, reading a play and hearing a play performed. I mean, it was, it was profound. And I, I, it, 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 the tapes had that impression on me. And then I, I would watch, and uh, with respect to many of the members of the Congress, uh, the impression was, uh, you know, a fortiori because, you know, th th these were, men and women whose, you know, careers were in the balance. And, and, and uh, I remember, especially with some of the Republicans uh, uh, whom I admired, uh, uh, I, I could see that they realized that once these things were out there, you know, it was going to be difficult for them.